Hello everyone. In this video you will study about important components of a map. Every map has certain components that act as tools and help us to read and interpret it. These are called essential components of a map. They are distance, directions and symbols. Let us know about each component in detail. You have learnt in the previous video that maps are drawings which reduce the entire world or a part of it to fit on a sheet of paper. But this reduction is done very carefully so that the distance between the two places on the map corresponds to the same two places on the ground. For this purpose, we select scale of the map. Do you know what is this scale of a map? A scale of a map is the ratio between the actual distance on the ground and the distance shown on the map. To understand it better, let us look at the map shown here. Suppose this is a place A and this is another place B and the distance between these two places is 6 cm on the map. Now you have to find out the distance between the same two places on the ground. Can you do it? Yes, you can easily find it out if you know the scale of this map. Suppose the scale of the map is 1 cm equal to 200 km which means 1 cm on the map represents 200 km on the ground. Therefore, 6 cm on the map will represent 6 into 200 equal to 1200 km on the ground. Here, I have simply multiplied the map distance which is 6 cm to 200 that is the scale of the map. It is very simple and easy to calculate. By now you must have understood that scale is very important in any map. If you know the scale you will be able to convert the distance between any two places on a map into the actual distance on the ground. I hope this is clear to you. If you remember in my last video you studied about three different types of maps. Political, physical and thematic. Now we are going to classify maps on the basis of scale. First one is small scale map and second one is large scale map. Let us know about each type of map in detail. A small scale map refers to world maps or maps of large regions such as continents, large oceans, etc. In other words, you can say they show large areas of land in a small space and use a small scale such as 1 cm equal to 1000 km which means 1 cm on the map shows 1000 km on the ground. Here I would like you to remember one thing is that a small scale map gives very little information. Do you know why? Because a large area is reduced to a very small size then represented on a flat surface due to which it is not possible to provide detailed information on a small scale map. I hope you got my point. Now come to the large scale map. The large scale map refers to neighborhood maps, district or town maps. In other words, you can say when a small area is to be shown on paper, then we use a large scale. For example, 
six centimeter equal to six hundred meters. That means six centimeter on the map shows six hundred meters on the ground. As it is a small area, we can get more information on the map. Hence, you can conclude that a large scale map. gives us more information than a small scale map i hope the difference between small scale map and large scale map is clear to you so children let us end today's class here in the next video we will continue with directions do subscribe my channel and get notifications about upcoming videos thank you everyone